back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at my planner to see where we are for the month of January, setting up paycheck four and closing out paycheck three, cash stuffing my envelopes and sinking funds, as well as doing a small cash condensing at the end of this video. Please give this video a like, consider subscribing. Let me know we are in the middle of the month. How is your January budget going? I would love to hear an update. And let's get started okay yes y'all it is the middle of the month it is time for us to do a little budget update how are you guys doing are we in the red are we in the green do we have some unexpected expenses how is the budgets going and while you're at it go ahead and grab yours honey if you have not um reconciled for the week or if you need to get things set up for the new week and budget with me and today is the 19th and this week i had a few or a couple rather business bills that I had to take care of. And so those got taken care of um, over at the beginning of the week. We had a holiday. Y'all, I have missed Bible study twice this month. Did I miss it last week? I think I did. I know I missed it um, on this week. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm doing good with church, but Bible studies, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, car insurance and Apple, my Apple subscription did get paid. And so for the upcoming week, my Wi-Fi bill already came out earlier than expected. So that money just came out of my buffer checking account. So that bill is paid for. I do have my taxes and my electricity bill that's coming up. I have another business bill that's gonna be due next week. This one is not as expensive. It's only like $16. This one was like a few hundred. Um, and then I am going out of town on next Friday. So next weekend is Taylor's wedding and I will be out of town for that. So um, actually, no guys, I'm going out of town Saturday morning, but I put it on Friday. Um, so I am not going to have a cash stuffing for you guys next Friday. I hate missing my cash stuffings like OMG. Um, so I'm not going to have one for y'all, um, on Friday. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finally do my, um, annual goals video. I felt like, you know, everything happens in the timing that it's supposed to happen. I've been trying to get that video done, but with the shops and some mishaps that I will tell you guys about probably sometime in this video a little bit later. Um, it's just been hard for me to do anything other than just my weekly videos. So being that I'm not going to do a cash stuffing for you, for you guys next Friday, I will go ahead and do that annual goals video and it'll be early in the week. So that way the, um, latter part of the week, I can focus on going out of town. I am also going to vlog this weekend. So you guys will have a travel vlog coming up next or week after next. I'll be doing my February budget set up video week after next and a cash stuffing so not this week but the following week your girl's gonna have a lot of youtube videos up so if you're looking forward to the content go ahead and subscribe so looking at our january budget um i did go ahead and fill in the bills that came out and i round my bills up a dollar or to the nearest dollar and then throughout the month i come through and put what the actual um totals are what the actual bills are so so far we're in the green we don't have anything in the red y'all know that was not the case last month okay guys so um like i told you that wi-fi bill came out unexpectedly um early so my bill my total for the bills for this past week was 157.92 and that's um the exact amount that came out and for cash envelopes i gave myself 175 I have one, I actually use 160, I have $15 left. Um, my sinking funds got 72 and my buffer got 20 and then zero and zero. Okay, so I'm gonna total up these amounts over here. So 409.92 was my actual Let's do um, 157.92 minus 129 equals 
So I was in the red for bills, um, approximately $30. The only reason why I wasn't in the red, the actual 30 something dollars is because I round up the other, I round up the bills. So in the red, $28.92. And then for the cash envelopes, I'm in the green, $15. So if I do $28.92 minus $15, um, that puts me in the red for this week for $13.92 for spending. So it is a red week for me. Y'all let me know, was this week or these past two weeks if you're paid bi-weekly, was it a red week? Was it a green week? I think I'm at two red weeks so far in this month. So next week and the week after, I'm going to really try to be in the green. Um, so moving on to paycheck four, the bills for this week my personal bills will total to 178 and I am paying my taxes as well as my electricity. My cash envelopes will be 275 this week. Um, sinking funds 72. Buffer I didn't pull anything out of my check for my buffer envelope and my saving challenges. Well, I'm going to show you guys my saving challenges for January are already complete. Um, I don't plan on having any extra spending and then of course no unbudgeted i think i asked y'all last week like should we budget for unbudgeting <laughs> and somebody said yes but i was like well how do you do that <laughs> like how do you know how much to put aside for unbudget unbudgeted things i don't know it's just literally like the word itself unbudgeted but i'm like it would be cool to put something aside you know for unbudgeted expenses but if y'all do um unbudgeted things if y'all do have a budget for unbudgeted i would love to hear about it so we are working with an additional 325 this week i believe that's it for the paycheck i do need to go notate my no spend days okay y'all so i have um, let's see one coffee day this week and one no spend so we just go through my little stickers here and I keep these in the back of my planner in the pocket um, that comes with the planner let me go ahead and find these stickers y'all okay y'all so I actually have a few things to put down this doesn't usually happen so I completely forgot but I had a no spend day on I want to say yes it was on Monday so this past Monday which was a holiday was also a no spend day for me and then as far as coffee that was also just one day this week that was Wednesday so grab the tweezers and then I am going to um, lunch on the 21st on Sunday, but because I don't have any more room, I'm just going to go ahead and put my little lunch sticker, um, kind of overlap it here, if you will. And this will be at one o'clock. And then... I'm going to go to the nail shop on Friday. So I leave Saturday um, morning. Or did I say I was going to do it on Thursday? Yeah, I'm going to do it on Friday. But actually, I'm going to just put it on both days <laughs> just in case I change my mind and do it on Thursday. So those are some things coming up for this week. Um, now I can get to the weekly check-in. So um, I only have money left over in home and medicine. Let's see. Spending... I had 10, I spent it all. Gas, spent it all. Same for groceries. Um, home, I spent 10. Eating out is all gone. And then medicine, I didn't spend anything. And then beauty, I didn't spend anything. Okay, I did go ahead and flip the planner back to get these numbers. So basically, from what I spent, I just subtracted from the remaining um, column. So home, I had 60 i spent 10 so now i have 50 left for the month eating out i had 79 i spent 25 
so I have 54 left and then medicine I didn't spend anything so I still have the 50 and then beauty I didn't spend anything so for this week spending is gonna go ahead and get the last $20 that I budgeted for and gas is going to get its regular 45 groceries regular 70 home regular 15 um, eating out regular 25 nothing for medicine and then beauty I'm going to put in $100 which I only have oh I did this wrong a $50 beauty budget so I'll be over budget okay and then you guys know that I am on the struggle bus with expense tracking I talked about it in my last video about some of the struggles that I'm having and what I plan to do in the month of February um, to help me get better with tracking my expenses. The March kits are available for the budget planner. So this is the butterfly um, theme. And then the second theme for March is honeybees. So um, these kits are available. They went live last Friday and I'm excited for the new sticker schedule so you guys can be able to access stickers a lot um, earlier than in the previous years February is also available the Valentine's and then the flowers so I used Valentine's last year in my planner so this year I'm gonna use the flowers okay y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out um, the leftover money and since my January saving challenges are complete show you guys this so this is the january card 60 all done in the envelope um i'll get started with february next week and then in the rose gold binder um we did all of our bubbles for january so i'm done with my saving challenges and i could you know yeah get a head start on february but i would rather put this money um somewhere else so today the rollover money is going to go in my buffer envelope because I haven't put any money well I've been kind of putting money a little bit a little bit in this envelope but I want to do that today and buffer is really just it's just an envelope just for extra things it's not really um there's no purpose just extra money in the envelope so I'm gonna put the 10 and the five so now i have 10 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 and 34. so from 19 dollars to 34 dollars and that's what i am doing with my rollover money from my wallet And I'm gonna go ahead and count the money for you guys. So $200 plus 51, so another 100. And 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 1, 40. And 20. And 10, 20. 30, 40, 45, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. It's 525, and that is what we have here on our slip from the bank. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and get into the wallet and get this money in here so spending is going to get 20. gas is going to get 45. and so um when i do the travel vlog for the wedding weekend i did say this in my last video but i'm gonna say it in this one again just so that um i'm being like transparent with you guys so it's not number one it's not going to be like a budget travel vlog like i usually do i usually 
um, kind of take you guys through like the whole weekend, the cost of all the activities. Um, but I'm not going to do that this weekend or that the weekend coming up because um, for a few different reasons um, that I don't really plan on disclosing. But um, I don't also think I'm going to carry cash. I'm still going to budget because that's just my life. But I might just use my debit card um, for things. So it won't be a budgeting travel vlog per se. I will let you guys know how much um, like my ticket and stuff was, how much the hotel was. I'm gonna definitely show you guys the hotel so we can get a look at that. Um, and then I'm also, so that's the first disclaimer that it won't necessarily be a travel, a budgeting travel vlog. It'll just kind of be a travel vlog. Um, and then the second disclaimer is I'm not going to actually record anything from the wedding and put it in the vlog just because it's not my wedding, it's hers. And, um, you know, if that's something that she wants to do, post like clips and things, you know, I will, they have that right to do that. I don't really feel like it's my place, so I won't be doing that. Um, but y'all will see everything else. So nothing in the bank. I do have some receipts to scan. I do have some coins to put in my coin box and then that is where I keep my cards. Um, so let's move on to the sinking funds. I did want to give you guys some updates. I believe all of, unless you might've ordered January stickers in like the last week or so, or the la like, like the last week, but um, I'm getting all of the January stickers out. I'm gonna be working this weekend as well. So something that you guys don't know what happened. So I did have like quite a few people people reach out to me between like between like October and December of last year and either like leave me a comment or like actually reach out and be like, hey, I'm gonna get the planner to use your stickers next year, the whole nine. Birthday has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I really need to change this amount. I really, really do, because this is not gonna work. I think I said I would, I would do it in February. But, um, so with like, you know, getting like those comments and like people, you know, letting me know and different things like that, which I appreciate, you know, I knew. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and work on getting another machine so that you know, I could handle the, you know, if there's an increase in the stickers, the sticker sales. So y'all, I ordered my machine in December. How about it's halfway through January and I still don't have it. It actually got lost in the mail. So it has, I've just been like counting, counting it all joy, like regardless, I'm like, you know, it is a situation where I could get super frustrated, super like, you know, irritated, but I'm just choosing to be grateful for the one machine that I have that works beautifully and just thanking God that, you know, it could be worse. So yes, I had plans on coming into January with another sticker machine to get things done faster. I ordered it at the end of December, definitely and I ordered it from Amazon I've never had a package get lost in the mail from Amazon so it was just completely unexpected um, but however I did find some machines near some stores around me so I'll be purchasing multiple machines this weekend so um, yeah so just want to let you guys know that that happened to me over this past month so 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. Um, so I, I'm just, I'm looking forward, of course, to having more than one machine because you can get things done literally in half the time, in a third of the time, in a fourth of the time as you add, you know, machines. Um, so my the machine that I purchased it getting lost in the mail it just kind of threw the whole month of January off for me and um I've just been trying to get through this 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 time or this season so April and May have 20 40 45 50 55 60 61 
62, 63, 64, 65. I'm praying that this machine, that the machines are in stock uh, around the stores near me. So I'm gonna check Walmart. I'm gonna check Michael's. Um, I'm gonna check Joann's. Those are typically the stores that will sell the silhouette machines. So I'm going on a hunt this weekend to find more silhouette machines. And I actually reached out to Amazon this morning because I got in contact with the seller. Oh, that was another thing, y'all, if you don't know. Another thing that happened was I've been trying to like get my money back for the machine and was like, okay, because they said if it didn't arrive by a certain date, I could request a refund. So when that day came, I went and requested requested the refund and Amazon was like, okay, we're going to reach out to the seller. The seller got back with me and was like, oh, you know, so sorry about that. I believe it's lost in the mail. Like, do you want a replacement? Do you just want a refund? I was like, well, you can send a replacement. That would be nice. Um, then I didn't hear back from the seller for two days and I had wrote a note down and told myself like, okay, if I don't hear back from the seller by Monday, this coming Monday, I'm just gonna have to try to get my money, get a refund. So 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330. So I get a message this morning from the seller, but apparently it's a different seller. Cause they were like, oh, I think you reached out to the wrong person. Like I was like, well, I mean, you could look at the message thread and see that I've been going back and forth in this same message thread, unless there's like a different kind of, y'all, I don't know what happened. So basically I'm saying that to say Amazon would not just instantly give me my money back because my order was running late. It was not until Amazon determined, yeah, your, your package got lost. You are eligible, eligible for a refund that I was able to actually apply from one through Amazon because before you're eligible, before Amazon deems you eligible, if you want a refund, you have to talk directly to the seller. Once Amazon deemed me as eligible for a refund, then I was able to request one and that was this morning. So, um, yeah, it has, it has not been fun, but this is just a part of life. Like everything doesn't go smoothly all the time. And I honestly feel like it's just a test of like your attitude, a test of your faith, a test of like, are you going to remain calm? Are you going to fly off hinges? Are you gonna go off on people? Like, and none of that is necessary. So um, I did get my, I did get approved for my refund for the machine this morning, two, four, and six. So that refund should be here sometime next week. Um, I am still going hunting high and low this weekend at these stores for a machine. And then once I get my refund, I'll just use that money to just buy another one. So my guy baby is going to get $2. I think that was the only update that I had for you guys um, with the wedding coming up. Let me all know that I'm not going to be on next Friday, but I will post a video early in the week. 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Um, and that I'm having some issues. <laughs> I'm having some struggles with getting additional sticker cutter machines so but we are working through it oh wait we are working through it god is good and i'm just you know i did get a little bit irritated last night i'm not gonna lie i did get a little bit frustrated um i have 20 40 45 50 55 But after my moment of frustration last night, I think I was, I think I got frustrated because I hadn't heard back from the seller and it had, I think it made, yeah, I hadn't heard back from the seller because they responded this morning. And so like, you know, I have more sticker customers now. So I have more stickers to make. So I'm like, I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, I could be doing this much quicker if that machine wouldn't have got lost in the mail. <laughs> 
And then <laughs> if the seller would have been a little bit more, um, you know, responsive to me, I could have either gotten a refund sooner or a replacement sooner. So I was definitely frustrated last night while I was working. But even after my moment of frustration, I was like, I'm still just going to count it all joy and be thankful that it's not worse. Okay, y'all. So let's go with car tags. They are getting two dollars. And so now we have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So $33. We might actually be okay. I don't know. My car tags, I get them, they expire in, in, expire in May. I just get them every June, every year in June. I think I started doing that years ago because when I was a teacher, I was still working in May. And so it was kind of hard to, you know, you're just trying to close out the school year, honey. You're just trying to make it through. And so I was teaching and I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna wait until summer break starts. And then, and which would always be like the beginning of June, like then I'm gonna go get my car tax. So it's just habit. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, and four. 24 and I want to say welcome to all of my new subbies thank you guys for commenting on some of my last videos let me know that you are um, new to the channel that you just found me and um, I appreciate you guys letting me know that you are a new subby I try to respond to all of my new subbies if I haven't responded yet I'm sure I will um, I just haven't done it yet so an emergency, I have 12, 100, 5, 10, and 15. So 12, 15. I don't know if I'm going to take this 15 out or not. I usually, at the end of every month, um, I usually take out whatever cash is in here and then deposit it into my actual emergency account. And I'm doing my cash condensing this week because I won't be able to do it next Friday okay giveaways is going to get two dollars and our next giveaway will be when we get to 30,000 subscribers and we are currently at 23 I think almost 24 So I hope you consider subscribing. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And my giveaways are usually like electronic gift cards to like um, Amazon, Visa, stuff like that. And I try to pick two winners um, for every giveaway that I do. So. We have not had a giveaway, I think, since we reached 20,000 subscribers. So it's been a little minute. Um, Christmas is going to get 10. We're going to leave this at 10 because you guys know I didn't have enough money um, this past Christmas in my sinking funds to take care of things. So I needed to. I need to keep this envelope at $10 so that I can have enough money to buy Christmas gifts for all the babies and I forgot to stuff my bills y'all <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do that once I'm done with this binder functions is gonna get two dollars this is for my holiday contributions when I go to celebrate holidays or um holiday events at other people's houses and i need to contribute something so five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i also think i'm going to take out my um the money in my savings envelope which used to be my medical envelope but i changed it since i got health insurance I've changed that to the savings envelope and I probably will pull that money out and deposit that. And my savings account is a 
high yield savings account. So we love those. So car tires has 20, 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 28. Okay, y'all, so we are doing taxes and electric. So my electric bill is 113. And we will just put this to the side. So 100, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And I will go deposit that into my bills account. And then my, um, where are we at here? My debt is, I need to make a note in my Wi-Fi bill as well. Um, my debt is my taxes. So I need to put taxes over here. And this is going to be 65. So that's going to be 50. Okay, y'all, so I figured out my mistake. Um, I was literally racking my brain trying to figure it out. So I ended up being $10 short in the electric bill. So I had 103 instead of 113. And then I ended up being $10 over in the debt bill. I had 75 instead of 65. So it, it still all added up correctly. I still had enough money for both bills. I just should have had more 10s and less 20s so that's where the mistake was so this is my cash breakdown worksheet that i'll be using for the condensing and i'm just going to prop that up right there so i condense my bills once a month typically at the end of the month so that um my envelopes don't get too stretched out and um i can preserve envelopes and binders so wardrobe is getting 50 20 40 45 50 april and may is getting a 50 a 10 and a 5 20 40 45 50 5 10 1 2 3 4 and 5 Outings will get a 10. Car maintenance will get 110. So 50, 70, 90, 110. So 110. So we have 330. miscellaneous not getting anything gifts will get a five so one two three four and five my goddaughter will get a 20 10 15 16 17 18 19 and 20. Um, and savings will get a 50. So 20, 40, 45, 50. Car tax is going to get a 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I need to be checking the the trackers to make sure I'm accurate. Electronics will also, well, it will get a 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 424. Um, emergency is getting 10. 
that will probably also um, I probably put, will put this money in the bank as well those two envelopes I pull f like I stuff money and then I pull from them or I want to pull from them and put them in the bank giveaways is getting 10 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Christmas is getting ten. So somehow, guys, I messed up. Somehow I messed up. I don't really know how, um, but somehow I, I did mess up. Unfortunately. So, um, functions is getting a 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yep, and I think that's where I'm gonna have an additional $10. Um, something like that. And car tires is getting a Five, and I don't think I have a five because I only have these three. So what I'm going to do here is one, two, three, four, five, and just pull a five from over here. So that adds up to 28. And that's it for this binder. Okay, I have my buffer envelope to get a 20. So... Let's see here, 10, 20, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'll pull a 10. So, oh Jesus. As long as we have $433 or more to take back to the bank, I think we're good. Um, this saving challenge is gonna get a 10. So I have 50. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so hopefully this will show you guys like you are not alone if you find yourself struggling with these cash exchanges. <laughs> you are not alone. And the rose gold binder is also gonna get a 10. Somehow I just messed up some stuff, so. Okay, five and 10. So that leaves me with some money going back to the bank. I'm gonna get it all straight and see how much money we have going back to the bank. I am hoping that we have 433 going back to the bank. If not, I may have to do some more investigating. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. Plus 160 and then 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 And we'll break this up into tens. Also, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and this is eight, so 58. Okay, and I did not check this off camera. So we got 433, so y'all, we are good. So I'll see you guys next week. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.